We're broadcasting from the Concrete Jungle Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Bengals. Know what's beautiful about this city, Bricks? I don't know, Brim County. I don't know either. That's, that's why I was asking you guys. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Los Scandalous Dams battle. The Cincinnati Bengals. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he breaks him, and the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third down and the punter is warming up. And he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Five yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking all these preserved dirty trick ain't fair to kill me. It's like in Oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. Third down and five. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps outside to the ten. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service. Look at it just off the Beltway exit five. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. 
You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Third down and six. Hot, hot one. Eight. And he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Oh, no good. Now that punter's going to find a cutoff. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Same page on that play. Third down and forever. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And this guy's an electrifying player even when he's not getting electrocuted. Second down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Hot six. Pass and catch for three. Receiver needs to break some tackles. Third and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hot eight. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and 
And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Second down and a lot. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and, well, good luck. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, MFL. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot, one, hot. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot, one, hot, two, hot, three. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is coming. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. He's at the 10. And he runs it in for the touchdown. No. This is an NFL reminder that humans can dance, but you still can't do the robot. Let's not forget the great misunderstanding and purge of 2071. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. Good thing they have good testing in the NFL because whenever they juice that. 
that player with him. He can go all the way. The 10. It's a touchdown. They're going for two points. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. Boom! starting to soften up the defense. First down. <laughs> First and eight to go. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this plans for me. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a super. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. <laughs> Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Beat for Brakes ran with a ball and didn't fall down. <laughs>
for one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and 10. that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive first time out under two minutes the chess game has begun it's like chess only you can kill people the quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense the defender says it's mine and he comes away with the pick holy crap he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. The receiver has to make that catch. Now he puts. Bam! Oh man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsanto Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. quarter about to begin here and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat i was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when bricks started farting like a fourth of july fireworks finale <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And that'll be second down. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic person. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. the QB would like. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. He 
caught it. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. The defense comes up big, stopping the two-point attempt. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Second down and a lot. Great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third and two. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. It's first and ten. And that is called for a first down. First and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Second down in a very... Oh, my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! Now, that's just... He had it for a second there. Third down, and the punter is warming up. First down. First down and nine. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Second down and six. A pickup of about three on that play. Third down and three. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. says it's time to put the ref out of his misery and there goes the ref you know bricks it's a tough job for a ref to control an angry fired up gang of mutants kind of like asking a zebra to serve tofu kebabs to a pack of starving lions in the serengeti you know Graham, i killed a ref in real once 
just to watch him die. Third down and never going to happen. Like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. First and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and six. Defense goes one speed. Man, that defender just turned on his jab. Holy mother! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. First down and one. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! No. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five!
The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense, and the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. Third and four. Gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked First and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look out! First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. First down. This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. 
And it's first and ten. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Sounds they'll have to regroup during this timeout. And out comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Moose oh, man, about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. And we are all tied up, and we're going to overtime. Go ahead and cancel that quality time with the family and continue to stream it to television. This is going to be great. Bricks, overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler!
Second down and five. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. And they just popped his eyes into the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead or worse. <laughs> Third down and the punter is warming up. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Well, that's a lovely shake for the punter today. He just put his team in the hole. Nice, and he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. He picks up five on that play. Four. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. The punt goes into the end zone, and it's a touchback. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Second down and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Third down and five. Quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the defense. 
Pittman brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. Second down and long. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth done, It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth! Third down and, well, good luck. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. Well, wow, surprise me, he made it look no. easy and he gets three points for it. And check one in the win column, the Mangles are victorious! The entire game was trench warfare, both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feed of teams should get a participation award because I, I try really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Grim <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.